and year after year, Botox Cosmetic is used to temporarily improve the look of moderate to severe frown lines between the eyebrows and people 18 to 65 years of age. Since you're sitting in the doctor's office right now, chances are you recognize the importance of getting expert advice. So there is no better person to ask about Botox Cosmetic than the doctor. And why not ask today? Come on, you've heard about it. Maybe you've had friends who've gotten treated with it. Isn't it time to ask your doctor about Botox Cosmetic? Botox Cosmetic may cause serious side effects that can be life-threatening. Call your doctor or get medical help right away if you have problems swallowing, speaking, or breathing at any time, whether hours or weeks after injection of Botox Cosmetic. These problems may be due to weakening of associated muscles and can be severe and result in loss of life. You're at the highest risk of these problems if they're pre-existing before injection. Swallowing problems may last for several months. You should also call your doctor or get medical help if you have spread of toxin effects any time after injection of Botox Cosmetic. The effect of botulinum toxin may affect areas away from the injection site and cause serious symptoms including loss of strength and all over muscle weakness, double vision, blurred vision and drooping eyelids, hoarseness or change or loss of voice also called dysphonia, trouble saying words clearly also called dysarthria, loss of bladder control, trouble breathing, or trouble swallowing. If any of these symptoms occur, do not drive a car, operate machinery, or do other dangerous activities. There has not been a confirmed serious case of spread of toxin effect when Botox Cosmetic has been used at the recommended dose to treat frown lines. The dose of Botox Cosmetic is not the same as or comparable to another botulinum toxin product. Before considering any aesthetic procedure, you probably want to get your questions answered. Questions like, what exactly are those moderate to severe frown lines? We call those moderate to severe frown lines between the brows a 1, or an 11, or a 111. Which one are you? When I crinkle my brows, I get this one irritating line, like a groove here. So I would consider myself a one. Well, I've got these two lines right here that go straight up and down. So I guess these two bad boys make me an 11. Which one am I? I guess you'd have to call mine 111. Yeah, too many lines. Years of squinting, concentrating, or frowning can cause your skin to furrow and crease. As time passes, your skin becomes less elastic and those moderate to severe frown lines remain, even when her muscles aren't contracting. I have sacrificed a lot over the years. And that's why it's time to do something for myself. I'd like to make these moderate frown lines between my brows less noticeable. Ask your doctor if Botox Cosmetic is the one for your ones. Serious and or immediate allergic reactions have been reported. They include itching, rash, red itchy welts, wheezing, asthma symptoms, or dizziness or feeling faint. Tell your doctor or get medical help right away if you are wheezing or have asthma symptoms, or if you become dizzy or faint. Do not take Botox Cosmetic if you're allergic to any of the ingredients in Botox Cosmetic or if you've had an allergic reaction to any other botulinum toxin products such as Myobloc, Dysport, or Zeomin. You should also not use Botox Cosmetic if you have a skin infection at the planned injection site. Tell your doctor about all your muscle or nerve conditions such as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, which is commonly called ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, or myasthenia gravis or Lambert-Eaton syndrome. With typical doses of Botox Cosmetic, you may be at increased risk of serious side effects, including severe dysphagia, which is difficulty swallowing, and respiratory compromise, which is difficulty breathing. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including if you have plans to have surgery or had surgery on your face. Tell your doctor about weakness of forehead muscles, such as trouble raising your eyebrows, drooping eyelids, and any other abnormal facial change. It is not known if Botox Cosmetic can harm your unborn baby. So tell your doctor if you're pregnant or plan to become pregnant, or if you're breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed. It is not known if Botox Cosmetic passes into breast milk. 
Introduced in 2002, Botox Cosmetic was the first botulinum toxin approved by the FDA to temporarily treat moderate to severe frown lines between the brows in people 18 to 65 years of age. Approximately 11 million Botox cosmetic procedures have been performed since then, and we're still counting today. With a few tiny injections, Botox Cosmetic blocks nerve impulses to the injected muscles, reducing their contractions. This reduced muscle activity helps reduce the appearance of moderate to severe frown lines between the brows. It was only about 10 or 15 minutes. It was little discomfort. And when I was done, I actually could not believe that it was over. I, I did notice a, a bit of a softening of the lines. And over time, that's just uh, increased more and more. In clinical trials, 8 out of 10 women achieved clinically significant results at day 30 with Botox Cosmetic. In a survey of 293 patients, most were satisfied with the results of their Botox cosmetic treatment. Visible results have been shown to last up to four months. Botox cosmetic contains albumin, a protein component of human blood. The potential risk of spreading viral diseases, for example, Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, or CJD, via human serum albumin is extremely rare. No cases of viral diseases or CJD have ever been reported in association with human serum albumin. Tell your doctor about all the medicines you take, including prescription and non-prescription medicines, vitamins, and herbal products. Using Botox Cosmetic with certain other medicines may cause serious side effects. Do not start any new medicines until you've told your doctor that you've received Botox Cosmetic in the past especially tell your doctor if you've received any other botulinum toxin product in the last four months or in the past. These products include Myoblock, Dysport, or Zeomin, as well as Botox Cosmetic. Be sure your doctor knows exactly which one of these products you received. Also, tell your doctor if you've recently received an antibiotic by injection. Take muscle relaxants, allergy, or cold medicine, or sleep medicine. I'm satisfied with Botox Cosmetic because of the results. I can express myself fully, and the people who are closest to me aren't quite sure what I've had done. The results met my expectations, and my doctor was so good and experienced with the product. Yes, I would absolutely get treated with Botox Cosmetic again. Your doctor knows and trusts Botox Cosmetic to deliver precise and predictable results like you've just heard about. It's no wonder Botox Cosmetic is the number one doctor prescribed botulinum toxin type A in the US. So whether you're a one or an 11 or a 111, ask your doctor today if Botox Cosmetic is the one for your ones. Other side effects of Botox Cosmetic include dry mouth, discomfort or pain at the injection site, tiredness, headache, neck pain, and eye problems, which can include double vision, blurred vision, decreased eyesight, drooping eyelids, swelling of your eyelids, and dry eyes. For more information, refer to the medication guide or talk with your doctor. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. As a Botox Cosmetic patient, you can become a member of the Brilliant Distinctions Consumer Loyalty Program. You can earn points on select Allergan products and services, as well as receive special offers and exclusive invitations. To sign up, visit BotoxCosmetic.com. Remember, you and the faces you saw today are unique. There's only one Botox Cosmetic.